What's up guys? It's Sarah. It's at carnivore.yogi on Instagram. I'm going to just do a really quick little mobility drill for you. You can do this if you need to just unwind, let go of some tension in your hips, or if you are about to work out, this is a really good one to do. So if you're about to work out, I recommend that you don't do any long static holds. So I'm not going to have any of those in this video, but these are just going to be some things that you can do to help increase your mobility. Now listen to my breathing cues because I think that those are pretty important when we try to do any sort of mobility work, okay? It just sends the signal to the body that we can relax, we can, you know, get everything flowing. So I'm going to start you off and I do have a blanket here for my knees. I like to pad my knees up even if they don't hurt. It's just a little protection there. So you're going to start off hands and knees. You're going to spread your palms really wide, parallel your pointer fingers, just like the number 11. Make sure they're turning out a little bit, not turning in, just to protect your wrists and shoulders. On your inhale, you're going to drop your belly down, lift your heart. On your exhale, round the spine. And just continue on with this inhale, dropping down, and exhale, rounding. Like that a few. You can do this for a couple of minutes, okay? It is just really helpful to get the spine nice and open and moving. So a couple minutes of that, and then we're gonna do each hip here. So you're gonna reach your right leg back behind you and then bend the knee and start to circle the hip around. So this is going to allow synovial fluid to start to flow through the hip. So you can circle in one direction for just a bit here. Try not to lock your elbow bows out or get them <laughs> flared out. Be mindful of that and continue to breathe. And then you're gonna circle the hip in the other direction. Again, just getting all that fluid to flow down into the hip. Okay, and then you will step the foot through with the back toe of the opposite foot. Curl the back toe under and just bring your hands up on top of the front knee. And you're gonna slightly tuck the pelvis under and just inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. You can do that as long as you'd like to. It's just nice again to kind of activate the hips. And then if you feel like it, big reach, stretch it for just a moment, but not too long, so we don't want to deaden the muscles by holding something too long. Back up your hips, come onto that right heel, just wiggle the toe around, fold a little bit, take a couple breaths. Good. Bend back into the right knee, bring your hands down, move through some more cat cow. And then let's do the left side. So left leg reaches back behind you, bend the knee, and then circle the knee around. So big circles here. This is really good, you don't have to do it before a workout. You can just do it if you want to loosen up the hips, encourage relaxation. We do have to hold a lot of tension in our hips. Okay, and then circle the other way. And then just like you did on the first side, we'll step the foot through. Now, mindful of your breathing, keeping it in and out of the nose as much as you can. Back toe curls under, hand up on the knee. And just inhale, come forward. You can tuck the tailbone just a little bit, really activating this hip flexor. Exhale, rock back. Inhale forward, full deep breath. Try not to hold it. Exhale, rock back. A couple more, inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. And then if you want to, again, sweep the arms up, big stretch, open the chest and the heart. Good. And then hands come down, framing the foot, back the hips up, wiggle the heel forward, flex through the foot. So pull the pinky toe edge side of your foot back towards your hips and just fold. Good. And then hands down, moving back to cat cow. Then come to sit here. So you can set your blanket off to the side. This is 
optional, but just a little something extra that I like to do if I'm doing any kind of heavy squatting or again, if I'm just tense and I just want to let go of tension. So feet as wide as your mat, hands behind you, feet are flexed. The flexing of the feet is going to help to encourage the hips, okay? So knees drop down one side, inhale center, exhale other side, inhale center. And just go back and forth. I call it, and if you take my class, I call it windshield wiper your knees. This is really good for the hips, keeping those feet flexed. And then if you'd like to here, I'm gonna turn, because I am trying to keep talking to you guys into that camera. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna turn to show you. I'm gonna bring my knees down. Hands come behind me, just to add a twist. Again, this is really good for the spine. Helps to kind of wake everything up. Inhale, lift, and then exhale. Just come down on your forearms. Now here, really try to breathe into the belly. Keep your feet flexing. Awesome. Good, and then you're gonna wanna do the other side. So we'll turn here again. Feet flexing, knees down. Big inhale, lift chest and heart. Get the, the spine nice and long. Exhale, down on those forearms. guys so that was a pretty simple little just mobility drill again you can do that before you work out you can do it if you're feeling a lot of tension a lot of stress and you just want to get some of that out most important thing is the breath so always trying to breathe in and out of the nose and then to keep your breathing even so I hope this was helpful please comment let me know let me know what else you guys might like to see from me I am willing to make more videos, but again, this was just a nice little drill for the hips. You can do it before a workout or if you need to relieve some stress and tension. Thank you guys for watching.